Book 1, Proposition 2 of Euclid's Elements focuses on constructing a straight line at some given point equal to another straight line that you start with. So to place at a given point a straight line equal to a given straight line. So we can start with a point, which we'll call A, and we can start with a line constructed here, which we'll label as B and C. So our goal is to essentially duplicate this line, but starting from this point A here. And our first step is to construct a straight line between the points A and B. And remember, this comes from postulate number one. So let's draw that straight line between them. And from here, what we want to do is to create an equilateral triangle between the points A, B, and another point, D. So we'll create an equilateral triangle, which we can do now because we've already completed the proof for constructing equilateral triangles. All we have to do is just reference it as Book 1, Proposition 1. And usually, when a proposition from a certain book is referenced. The book number is written using Roman numerals, so we use an I, and then a number for the proposition. So I.1 means book one, proposition one. So this point up here, we label D. Now our next step will reference postulate number two which says to produce a finite straight line continuously in a straight line. So postulate number two, we can use this to take DB and DA and extend them as far as we wish. So we will extend it to some point which we can call E for this and we'll extend this one to some point which we will call F. So we just created DE and DF using postulate number two. Next, we will use postulate number three to create a circle with center at B. So that's postulate number three. And let's create that circle centered at B and using the line BC as the radius. So now that we have a circle centered at B, we want to create a second circle, this time centered at point D. So this is again postulate number three, which states that we can create any circle with any center and any radius. So for this circle centered at point D, we're going to use the line D to this point here, which I'll call G. So DG is now going to be our radius. Now that we have these circles drawn, we can start making connections between them. So first thing to notice is that this line BC that we started with is equal to this line BG. So BC equals BG, and this is due to definition number 15, which we used in the last video but it basically states that the radii of a circle are equal to each other. And if we label this point right here, we can use that same exact idea to notice that D to G is equal to D to L. So this line here, DL, is equal to this line here, DG. So DL equals DG. This again comes from definition number 15. And since we know that triangle ABD is equilateral, this means that DB and DA are equal to each other. And since we know that DG and DL are equal to each other, and DB and DA are equal to each other, this must mean that BG and AL are equal to each other. So BG is equal to AL. And this comes from common notion number three, which says that if equals be subtracted from equals, the remainders are equal. 
Well, we've already shown that this line BC is equal to the line BG. And since BG is equal to AL, we can use common notion number one that states that things which are equal to the same thing are also equal to each other. So AL here has to be equal to BC. So we have that AL equals BC and this is common notion number one. And this line AL is exactly what we sought to construct. Remember from the beginning, we started with this point here, A, and this line BC, and we had to construct a duplicate line, BC, though coming out of point A. And that is exactly what we have accomplished.